We're going to welcome a, a new guest to Robin Hood Radio, and that guest is Ann Coffin, who is uh, uh, going to talk to us a little bit about the uh, Cornwall Library, their big uh, third annual Labor Day weekend art sale. And uh, let's welcome Ann right now. Good morning, Ann. Good morning, Marshall. So now, what is your position with the with the library? Uh, are you a board member or just a, a concerned Cornwallian? I am a board member. I have been for a couple of years. And it's the third Labor Day weekend benefit art sale, which I've worked on, third we've done. And um, it's coming along really well, opening Friday from 5 to 8. Now, it opens up Friday from 5 to 8, but it's going to run also right through September the 1st, right? That's right, through Labor Day Sunday. We've had it just for the weekend, um, day weekend in past years, and decided this year to run it. 10 days so that people who were away one weekend could perhaps be here the second weekend, people who wanted to come back and look again. Because people love the exhibition, so sometimes they want to come back even if they've already bought something just to look around a second time. And this gives everybody time to come and think about what they'd like to buy and admire the work that their neighbors have donated to us. Now, we're talking once again about the third annual Labor Day uh, weekend art sale to benefit the Cornwall Library. Uh, and, and what type of art is there? Are you have, do you have all types of art, like photography, paintings, uh, drawings? I mean, uh, it, does it run the gamut? Absolutely. Um, it's all two-dimensional. We don't have sculpture, but we have everything you can think of that's two-dimensional. Prints, paintings, photographs, pastels, sporting art, drawings, posters, um, 18th century right through contemporary. So it's a really great spread and a lot of posters, so there are things that are available for kids to buy for their dorm rooms, and there are uh, antique prints and all sorts of wonderful things, all of which we're trying to identify and price at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, uh, now, now Cornwall has a lot of interesting uh, artists in itself. Do you have a lot of local artists in this show? We have some. We have a, a surprising amount of, of work that's been collected over the years by people that live in Cornwall. So some of the artists represented in the show are not alive, um, but there are a lot of artists who who are. Um, and it's, it actually does, it doesn't in any way um, mirror the Rosal Grant show, which, of course, just ended, which is just work by contemporary artists that are living here now. Um, the art show brings together things of, for example, Mark Samant's. Mark, there, there are several Mark Samant, I believe, and one painting by his sister, Jenny, who came here from um, Paris. And they, sadly, neither one of them are alive anymore. But So there, there's work by people that were active in the past as artists. And, and Things by by current artists. For example, we have a couple of beautiful Erica Prudhomme's that um, have been given to us. And as and as people um, die and their children empty their houses, we end up with a lot of of work by artists that are still active in Cornwall because um, we all support our artist community, which is such a great community here. Um, but it but it is mostly I I have to say it is mostly not artists that are active now are represented in the All Grant Show and in the uh, series of exhibitions that we do all year long at the library uh, where we'll feature one or, or two Cornwall artists. We're speaking with Ann Coffin, who uh, is talking to us about the uh, third annual Labor Day weekend art sale, which runs August 23rd through September 1st. Now, we know the opening reception is uh, Friday the 23rd from 5 to 8. Uh, the hours for the show the rest of the day that they're, that they're open. The hours are the same as the library open hours, so it's Tuesday through Thursday, 12 to 5, Wednesday, 12 to 7. It's all on our website at www.cornwalllibrary.org, um, and it's on all the posters that we've tried to distribute all over the area because we're hoping to attract really a, um, a lot of people from neighboring towns besides our own people in Cornwall. You know, we've been lucky in our area. We, every town it seems to have a great library. And it seems to me, and I, when I was growing up, and this was a long time ago, folks, because I'm <laughs> 66, uh, but libraries uh, were, a, were a big part of the town. And it seems like libraries in each one of these towns have had uh, a renaissance once again, and they've become community centers. This is absolutely true. And, of course, the Labor Day weekend arts programs all year long, programs for children and children. And all kinds of things all year long. So it's a very important um, 
resource. It's a very important support, financial support for for this programming that we offer to the community all year long. Um, you're absolutely right. I mean, there's hardly a week. Well, we never have a week go by without all sorts of things going on at our library. Um, I just remember when I was a kid growing up what it was like to get your, and I know this sounds so old-fashioned, but I, I can still remember getting my first library card and marching down uh, to uh, from Sharon Center School uh, to the Hotchkiss Library and being able to check out our first book uh, as, as a kid. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, uh, and I think libraries are becoming that, that important once again to, uh, to students and, and children once again as well. Absolutely. Um, there are, well, there's a children's play group going on right now at the library. There are all sorts of programs for teenagers and we try to we try to offer things for the entire community, and there is always something going on there. And plus, it's a resource for the community besides our own programming because it's used for com for town meetings and for um, community organization meetings and of other other activities sponsored by people other than us. We make it available, the building available to the community now, when we don't have our own programming going on. We're speaking with Ann Coffin. Now, Ann, how did you become so involved with the library to, 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 to become a board member and stuff like that? Well, we've been living, we've been summering and weekending up up in this area. We've lived in New York. We've been coming up since 1980. And um, one wants to give back to a community where so many people are so active and have donated so much of their time and resources and talents and everything. At a certain point, as one spends more time here, of course, you know, it's important to be more involved and, and contribute. So I got involved in the library. I love libraries anyway, and I in particular love library and was spending quite a bit of time there. But in terms of the art exhibitions, I worked in the art field in New York, so that was something that was easy for me to pick up and help with. And it's been a huge pleasure, I mean, to work with all the art that people give and hear the wonderful stories of people that come in with things they found in their attic that, your grandfather brought back from the Grand Tour in 1920, and that kind of thing. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's you know, it's it's when I when I look at the different libraries and the different programs that go on, uh, uh, and everything from internet to video and everything like that. And I and Cornwall is one of those towns which doesn't have great internet service. So I think what which probably makes the library even more important of a place. That's to absolutely be. right. I'm you're, I'm losing you, Marshall, but that's absolutely right. People come in and. And use the equipment that we have also. There are people who actually work in there a couple of weeks. So, yes, more now, important in a place that's a little bit isolated like this and has iffy, <laughs> iffy connections to the outside world. It's very important. And, and all proceeds from the sales support your, your programs for, for both kids, adults, anybody who uses the library, right? That's absolutely right. It's great because we have very robust um, active programming and new things all the time and programs that we've been running for a long time and um and and, and of course the, you want to fight you want to identify what ways you can help the population of the town so it's really important to have the money to be able to, to do that. all right well once again the uh the show runs august 23rd through september 1st with the opening reception friday the 23rd from 5 <laughs> until 8 p.m at the Cornwall Library. We're losing you there, Ann. Uh, for some reason on your phone connection, it's uh, it's not that great this morning. I'm you, Marshall. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll check with you again later on, okay? As we had uh, some telephone problems there. Once again, uh, the uh, Labor Day weekend art sale, uh, third annual uh, to benefit the Cornwall Library, August 23rd through September 1st. Uh, 5 until 8 p.m. is August 23rd uh, when it opens up. Cornwalllibrary.org on the web.